In this video, I'm going to show you a simple, cool use of the fractal noise effect in After Effects. So if we start on a new composition and just have a new solid, so I'll go to Layer, New, Solid, and you can make this whatever size you want. This happens to be a square, but it doesn't matter. And I go to the fractal noise effect in the Effects and Presets panel under the Noise and Grain section and drag that onto my solid. We get this uh, fractal generated noise and there's a lot of different effects controls that we can adjust about it. So in the effect controls panel, we can change the type of fractal. So you got all different kinds you can play around with and also different types of noise. And you can also play around with the contrast and complexity. So you can make it more simple or more complex. And then you can also adjust the evolution. So the phase that it's currently spinning in. And this is a really powerful and flexible tool to create all kinds of templates for other effects. So you can see in this dynamic effect, it almost looks like some gas bubbling up or something. Whereas something like uh, the more basic effects, if I keep them very simple, can almost look like uh, almost like some waves. I would have to change the noise type maybe. Um, and you can even get cool with these pixels, but that's enough about the fractal noise effect. The point is there's lots of different uh, possible shapes you can achieve with this. It's all based on math. And one cool use that I'll show you for this, just to get the ideas going, is if we create a new text layer. So I'll just create a sample text layer. And uh, if, if you want to center it, a quick tip is go to Window Align, and you can center that quickly with these buttons. And on this layer, I will add a displacement map effect. So displacement map on the text layer. And for the displacement map layer, I will choose the solid that has the uh, fractal noise effect on it. So I just want to make sure that I choose not just source, but effects and masks. So it's taking into consideration the effects, which in this case is the fractal noise. And the last thing I want to do actually is just add a quick animation to the evolution. So you could do this simply with keyframes, or in my case, I'll just use a quick expression that will do this for me. I'll hold Option, click on this stopwatch icon for the evolution of the fractal noise, and that'll turn red and it'll open up in the composition this little text box for me to type in my expression. And I'll just use a really simple one, value equals time, and I'll use the times, let's just say 100, or let's just say 200, make it a little fast. So what that's going to do is every one second, it's going to move the evolution 200 degrees. So we get this cool animation going on. And then I simply can just hide the visibility of this layer. However, our text layer, our displacement map here, is still taking into consideration the effects on it, even though it is hidden in the composition. And what we get is this cool rippling text animation. And that's just one example idea that you could use these fractal generated noises for. So from here, I can even play around with different types of fr fractals and see what those might look like. For example, here's the, the block one. That's kind of cool. Here's what that same effect looks like on a video clip instead of text. Kind of get this cool glitch shifting effect, which kind of gets creative. But these are just two simple uses. If you enjoyed this video, you can check out hundreds of more tutorials on the playlist on my channel and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. I definitely would like to explore this fractal feature more and come up with more cool creative uses to make tutorials on. My name is Justin Odisho. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.